Meanwhile, tonight, a brand new promise from President Trump about the future of DACA. He tweeted today within the past few hours that he will revisit the issue if Congress doesn't act within six months. Now, all of this is coming on the very same day his administration announced it was ending the program. DACA protects nearly 800,000 undocumented immigrants who were brought here as children from deportation. But earlier today, he claimed he had no choice but to phase it out. I have a love for these people, and hopefully now Congress will be able to help them and do it properly. It's unclear right now what the president's tweet really meant and what he would do if Congress didn't act. He's given lawmakers a six-month window to come up with and even pass a replacement for the decision. And now this uncertainty has led to protests, as you can see, all across our country. And that also includes this vigil held here in Indianapolis tonight. Dozens of DACA recipients and supporters brought signs condemning this move. They joined together in song and prayer, fearful of what this means for their families. Our Emily Longnecker was there tonight and shows us their fight to stay hopeful and stay here. We've lived here. We're, Hoos we're Hoosiers. Indiana is the only home 28-year-old Carolina Figueroa has ever really known. She can't remember coming here from Peru when she was just three years old. I love my Peruvian culture, but I love my American culture. I'm more American than Peruvian. Figueroa's future here now, though, is uncertain. She's a DACA recipient and recently explained to her sons 8 and 10 that meant she could face deportation. I told them that it was on, on the verge of going away and that if it, something happens, to know that I'm going to try my hardest to fight. Part of fighting meant coming together with other DACA supporters at this prayer vigil at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church on Indy's west side. Dreamers, the faith community is with you. We are with you, and we aren't going anywhere. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't voices raised in song outside this church turned to voices around. raised in harsh rebuke inside for the president's decision to end Anka. Evil, evil, evil is the only way I can describe this decision to end DACA. These are people committed to a better life. Those are children and young adults who go to schools, to universities, to make America great every single day. And to make their parents proud every single day. Amidst the prayers and candles and songs, there was also a call to action from lawmakers to fix the immigration system and give DACA recipients a legal path to citizenship. Well, I'm not leaving without a fight. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.